Praise God, I'm going to try to hurry that air condition there. I don't cut it on much because it's so cold. And I try to hurry, but we do have to cut it on. I cut it on. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I don't want nobody to Amen. But I'm going to try to hurry. I, he should have put the big one in the back and the small one in the front. But he put the big one in the front. Amen. Amen. We just thank God for today thank you, Jesus. for what God is doing. Today I'm going to be talking about the mind. And the topic is a carnal mind. A carnal mind. Amen. And we're going to go to Hallelujah. We're going to go to 2 Corinthians 10. The 10th chapter 1 through 4. And I'm going to show you something. In that position. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 1 through 4. What has happened to us? It done come in the time, y'all. Y'all got to know what days y'all mean. Yes, Lord. What I mean by the days, we are in the days of evil. We are in evil time. Yes, Lord. We are in the time of life. We're in the, some way like a family. In some areas, we cannot survive a wrestle in a of mind. And this is what is going on today with us. We are more carnal minded than we are spiritual minded. Amen. Yes, I am. Amen. And hallelujah, I know you are. Amen. Come on, this is why the Lord gave it to me. We can't win this battle till we get our mind from being so carnal minded. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Colonel Mind is with you. Amen. You can go so far in the Colonel Mind and the flesh can go so far, but after that, it can't go no further. It'll start dying down. It brings sickness. It brings diseases on you. All this because the body breaks down. So there's no cover. What I mean by that, you are so open for the target of the enemy in your flesh. So he can shoot a dot at you and it, it'll take you out, depending on how far you come out. Amen. Amen. Many people are doing things so in the kernel mind they end up binding themselves oh, more Jesus. into something when they want to come out. All right. Hallelujah. I was talking to a young man in prison, and I'm going to get in the word. And he was telling me what the dream he had and how God was telling, showing him. I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna bring you out of prison. Amen. But in his frame of mind, his mind was saying in his dream, in his self, he was saying, I need to get back in there before I get in trouble. Mm. See, God was showing him that I'm bringing you out, but I'm also showing you I'm gonna see you back to bring others out. But he thought he would have to go back. Amen. Come on, you see what I'm saying? Come on, mind. Enemy got us so carnal minded to the point that we thinking that the creator that created us will not bring us out. So we end up doing something that we regret later. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen? So we need to know what our weapons are. Yeah. We need to know that. Amen. Amen. Some of us don't know that's how come something come up on us so much. Amen. 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 We got to realize who the enemy are. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The most of the biggest enemy is us. Amen. You are your own enemy. Amen. I hate to say it, I'm my own enemy. You ain't my enemy. I am. Amen. Amen. When people realize who the enemy is, it's you. Right. Once you realize you are an enemy that I need to do something by myself, then you won't fight me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's start it. And Paul is going to explain this thing to us. I like Paul. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Verse 10, chapter 10, verse 1 through 4. Look what Paul said. Now I, Paul, my myself, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am base among you, but being absent and bold toward you. Okay, come on. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. So Paul was 
boasting in the Lord. He wasn't boasting in himself. Amen. And Paul was talking about himself in a way. He was talking about how he was walking in the flesh and different between the flesh and the spirit. Amen. That's why he came. He said, I'm coming. He really telling you the truth. He telling you about his life. The thing that he went through. Yes. That, see, y'all thought y'all don't want to go through, but Paul then right. went through. So Paul telling you, right. what I done went through, I was in the flesh, mm -hmm. I did some ignorant things, mm -hmm. and now I done <laughs> come to realize that I can't make it in the flesh. So don't look at me in the flesh. Yeah. My flesh is no good. But the spirit part I'm telling you what to look at is the spiritual man. Yes. See, some of us so in the flesh, we looking at the flesh instead of the spiritual man. This is what Paul trying to say. He trying to tell you, you ain't going to win the battle in the flesh. Amen. Amen. You need to stop trying to figure out something in the flesh. Wait on the creator that Amen. created you. Amen. Amen. And look what else he said. For though we walk in the flesh. Although I'm walking in the flesh. I'm walking. You walking in the flesh. Amen. You cannot deny the flesh because this is what you were born in your mother's womb. You came out in the flesh. Amen. Amen. Just like Jesus came out in the flesh, Amen. you came out in the flesh. But the real you is on the inside. So we so busy trying to print out this outside <laughs> and it's still stinking. <laughs> I don't care what you put on. I don't care what kind of perfume you put on. I don't care what style of shoes you wear. I don't care what you put on. You still stay. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This is what Paul said. Long as you walk in the flesh, you gonna be stained. That's what the enemy smell the flesh. Yes, you ever smell stank some stanky flesh? <laughs> it stank. Yes, A present lie walking around musty. You can't stay around him. You got thing if they dead. <laughs> oh my God. I hope I'm making sense. Amen. Yes, you're making sense. We but do not war after the flesh. We don't war after the flesh. You see what, what we war after? Whatever the flesh wants, we go after. That's right. Amen. I don't care what it is. It could be a no good man. You know the man no good man. Amen. 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 You know that he doesn't be out all night on the Saturday high. It's my turn. It's the same thing with me. What is happening if we want that attention of loneliness so stay the flesh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know he is. And you have the smell sad on him. And you won't get mad. You know he was yeah. sad before you smell. <laughs> so we need to stop walking in the flesh and the enemy using our flesh against Oh, yes, all right, this is what Paul's saying. All right, come on. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. He telling your weapon warfare is not carnal. Yes, so get your mind from being carnal minded. Amen. Longer you carnal minded, you gonna work in the flesh. That's what he tell you. Get your mind out of carnal mind. That's what's wrong with us. Colonel Mind. We think Colonel Mind. We walk by people coming to church. First thing somebody don't send that to you. Something wrong with us. <laughs> you Colonel Mind. They ain't speaking. Not the man I might not have been speaking at that moment. I might have been somewhere, but that don't mean I don't want to speak to you. Amen. See how the Colonel. Colonel Mind. Your weapon, he tells you what your weapon is. You Colonel Man. Your weapon is Colonel Man. All right. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds.
But mighty through God pulling down strongholds. You know what your stronghold is. Amen. You know you ask me, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You ain't all right. <laughs> but we are say we are all right. Mm -hmm. So if I keep saying I'm all right, I ain't pulling down nothing. What to do to get harder yeah. and harder? Amen. That's why he said, yo, pull it. Yeah. Me pull it down, me face it. That's right. Amen. When you face it, then you pull it down and cast it from you. Amen. That's why he said, cast all your cares up on me because I care. Long as you told me, it's going to get heavy. Amen. Amen. That's true. Enemy know he got one little thing on you, he'll wear your head out. He be like Muhammad Ali, I float like a boat, I stain like a boat. Bam, bam. <laughs> He's staining you, bam, bam. <clears throat> Come on, y'all. It's time for us to face us, Amen. your weapon. You know what's called you to do some things you do. You know why you get angry. You know why you get bitter. Come on. Some of us can't paint them went back way years back. Amen. And God said, it's there. Yes, <laughs> you pray, Lord, save me. Deliver me. Time me sure what it is. <laughs> but it is it. <laughs> so I need to what? Pull it down. That's when he said, your weapon of what the enemy used against you it, hallelujah, that you haven't faced it. Amen. And you can't face it if you compromise it. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you fall in love with somebody. You love them, you love them, you love them. And then they don't love you. Mm -hmm. I was looking at that movie with the butler, and the butler's son asked the woman, say, do you love me? She couldn't say nothing. He walked off. Some of us, we won't face if a person don't love you. We try to make them love us. You can't make nobody love you. That's right. That's right. You ain't done but hurt you. See, we got to learn to let go of anything. I use that as an example. Anything to let go of it ain't what it is, it ain't what it is. Amen. 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 So pull it down, Paul said, pull it down, stronghold. Stronghold. See, you got an S, so we got many strongholds. We got many strongholds. It ain't one, but you just imagine them out. Amen. How many got your strongest? Amen. Which one? You need to go at the one that really got you tight. You right. some old, but just get the one first that got you tight. Them other ones will loose up. You know, I thought about, I, that's what preaching in my spirit just then. The Lord just showed me, if you get the first one that really got you, that first one, that's the root. Uh-oh. Uh that's the root. You need to start from the root. Jesus didn't speak to the fig tree at the top. No. Where did he go? He went to so you need to go to the roots. Oh, yeah. I was waiting. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus, for the roots. I'm speaking to the roots today. Amen. 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 Let's go to Ephesians 6. 10 through 13. Ephesians 6, 10 through 13. Thank you. I like where Paul doing this. Finally, my brother. He's saying, finally, my brother. He's getting your attention. Be strong in the Lord. He telling you to be what? Strong in the Lord. You can't be strong in the flesh. You got to be strong in the Lord. The Lord is the Spirit. Amen. And in the power of His might. Not your power. His might. His power. Amen. You can't be strong in your power. Some way, somehow, that enemy is going to break that, that wheel down. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. 
the power. Amen. He's telling you you've got to be in the power of his mind. Amen. Ain't no way you can find anything in your own flesh. Amen. James 6. Amen. I mean say Ephesians 6, verse 10. Hallelujah. And in the power of his might. He didn't say your might. His might. Look at the word he said. His might. Now he's going to tell Paul, will tell me what I need to do. What I need to do, Les. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor. Amen. You can't put half of God on and half of God. Amen. You got to put the whole arm on. Yes. I'm going to go out the house with a dress. I'm going to put one arm into this part hanging out. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Christians both walk around with half religious and half naked. I'm saved, but I'm still a Amen. I'm saved, but I'm still popping the cake. Amen. That's Yes. Amen. I ain't never seen Jesus walk out the aisle on the synagogue with half his clothes off. Yeah. And you say, I love the Lord. If you love it, you going to dress up. Ain't no man going to let you go out with your half a dress, huh? Come on, y'all. Then I said, what's wrong with you? But neither you, your dress ain't complete on, no, baby. <laughs> I'm fully dressed, Pastor. Wait a minute, baby. This side is on you. Oh, Come on, y'all. I'm being honest. It's time for us to come out of this curl of mine. Stop being half dressed and half mine. I'm saved. Amen. I love the Lord. And then, Mom, I'm going down to the little store. I'm going to leave church. Oh, <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm gonna say it when it comes to me. I, I know I'm gonna tell you it's time for y'all to pull your drawers up and stop me like you. That's why they ain't be messing with you. Cause your drawers are showing. He said, pull on uh, Paul said, put on the whole oh, 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 armor God. Yes. That what? That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. Mm. Amen. You can't stand if you got your draws like they draws. Amen. 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 You can't. Amen. Girl, let's go out tonight. You know you don't have no business at no club with your drawers down. Amen. <laughs> then you will go to church Sunday morning. I love the Lord. You oh, and the brother that had their drawers down. I come to church with you, your drawers with my drawers. <laughs>
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We ain't wrestling against what? Flesh and blood. We ain't wrestling against flesh and blood. I ain't wrestling against you. I can't fight you because you is just like me. He's telling you you're not wrestling against flesh and blood. You wrestle against a spirit. Mm -hmm. See, that's why the enemy can get away with so much beneath Because people don't believe in such things as a chance. Yes, yes. He can get away quicker than Jesus was. Yes, yes. Are we? Yes. <laughs> if he's so tricky to the point that if you don't believe in that he is real, yes. See, he can slip in on you. Yes, he can. I was looking on to you. You know what God gave me the man now? I said, oh, God, that really got bad. Mm -hmm. I walked in that toughest game, playing with a game with the devil. Mm -hmm. Oh, folks, that's what they were saying. Mm -hmm. This man, the head of the devil sitting here. Mm -hmm. Here, he going to sit beside the devil. Mm -hmm. His wife sitting here. Then another took you. I said, oh my God. Mm. Mm. Playing with the devil. Mm. I'm telling you, you better stop playing with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stop. They got a game now. You watch. And folks going to be in line. Mm. <laughs> Behind that game. And all they doing, trapping their mind in the money. That's right. Something wrong with that person who threw God that game. Yes. 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 I was shot and had to, it was about to have the man dressed in a demonic form. Mm -hmm. I said, oh my God, Jesus, help us, help us. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. What world? This, this world. world. We in a baby. Y'all better stop playing. Amen. Y'all right. better get close to God than ever before. Amen. Because those are healed, you're going to be protected. Yes, Lord. But those ain't a healed, Thank you, Jesus. honey, you're going to have a field day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. And get spiritual wickedness <laughs> in high places. High places, that means the government. That's and right. That right. down in City Hall and different places. You're going to be wrestling against demons and yes, the mighty right. force. Mm -hmm. Men are in or in places. Yes, All the Bible did, we were praying this morning. I said, Lord, God gave me this scripture. But it's possible. Yes. I said, God, mm -hmm. give me the, the Lord, the apostle. Yes. Well, it's impossible with man, but it's possible with you. Yes. Yes. I'm in the apostle. Yes. Well, I came over there, Thank I told God, I need you to knock some doors open. Yes. Yes. Come on, y'all. Yes. The apostle will knock doors open. That means I ain't got to do yes. nothing but just believe yes. in the apostle. Yes. Yes. And y'all mean it was a wonderful prayer this morning. Yes. How God came in and began to knock. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I said, Lord, I can't go no further. See, you, that's the thing. I can't. Yes. See, I realize I can't go no further in the place but yes. So I said, Lord, I, I believe in the possible. Yes. Yes. By me believing in the possible, he yes. came in and yes. said, Thank you. it's possible. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, I just said the Holy Ghost had to go. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, y'all don't seem like that. Y'all don't see it that little weak man. Y'all see him in the manger. I see him as the possible.
that ye may be able to withstand the whole in the evil day. See mm -hmm. what he's saying? Mm -hmm. That ye may be able to withstand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of us can't what? Withstand. withstand. Amen. Only way you can stand is with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I'm right now. I can't, I ain't got nothing but him. Yeah. Amen. Only you can help me stand. Yeah. Only you can do this. Thank you, Jesus. And how about she come to the Only you can bring it out. Amen. Hallelujah. See, the Lord showed me in a dream. I saw this man riding in a fine looking car. Mm -hmm. But he had, had a money bag. The money was in the bag. See, and see, like I had a twenty dollar bill, and in the twenty dollar bill, it just like he took it. When he took it from me, and when I asked, he said, "I refuse to give it back." Mm. Come on, y'all. Come on. I'm trying to get y'all to see something. If you don't hold to the hands of God, the enemy gonna begin to take stuff from you. And he gonna refuse to give it back. When he don't give it back, you'll find some other God trying to place the true enemy. Look how many people getting out of God trying to place the God that you truly feel. Who really created you? He won't give you that opportunity to get back to your Savior. Mm -hmm. So you're going to find another God to make you come. Mm -hmm. And that other God you try to make you come, it end up killing you. Yes. Right. Right. That's, what, Jesus. that's why a lot of people need to be about staying out there. You better come to church and nobody else going to come. Because he said the wheat and the terror should grow together. Make sure you're not a terror. Because if you are terror, you gonna end up being destroyed out there. Amen. And you won't be able to whip in these days. We in these days. The Bible is fulfilled. You see fires, rumors of war. Anybody, I mean, they don't fight over no y'all. They fight here. Neighbor fighting each other. Everybody right. looking at each other crazy. That's right. Children can't even go nowhere. A man per pervert looking at a bank. Amen. Amen. Come on, say we got to get in the place of moaning. These moaning yeah. women, we got to get in place, y'all. Amen. Amen. So we can what? We are standing. Oh, glory to God. And having done all to stand. After all you done done, you what? Stand. 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 Nothing that you can do about it but just stand. stand. Don't go beyond what you can't, ability you can't do. Amen. See, that's how the enemy mess you up. When you go beyond the ability that you can't do, you're getting in you. Amen. But if you stay in the spirit realm and stand, that means I got a plan. If you just wait on me, wait on the Lord, be a good girl. Wait, I said, on the Lord. Amen. I'm waiting on God now. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to move in my behalf. Amen. I'm going to stand. Amen. I don't get in the car. I fight my mind. Amen. I just don't Amen. lean toward everything I think of. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. I'm one or two. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I'm making sense. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go first Thessalonians. 5, 1 through 8. Paul talking. Thank you, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Okay, he said, Paul said, the time and season, I don't need to write unto you. It's what Paul trying to say not to me. Now look what he said. For yourselves know perfectly 
that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. He's telling them the Lord's coming as a thief in the night. He's telling us he's coming. He's coming. He described how he's coming. He's coming as a thief in the night. You're getting all your warnings now. He's getting people to tell you, you need Jesus. You need to lean on Jesus. You need to, you need to trust Jesus. You don't need to trust man. Trust Jesus. Trust the Jesus in the man. If he's talking the truth of the word of God, you need to trust that. He's coming as a thief in the night. This is what Paul's saying. For when they shall say, when they shall say, peace and safety, peace and safety, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them. Sudden destruction. Come on, y'all, look at the sign. Sudden destruction. Come on. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So that means severe what? Pain. Severe pain. Just like a. A woman go through a stage of pain before that baby born. Amen. And that last stage, That's right. Amen. that pain is so real, I mean you want to say, take it out! Amen. 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 Don't let the man come in there with you, how to take it out! You want to Come on. That's all I can describe this thing so you get this. Yes. It's going to cut that place like that. Yes. All right, come on. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Now you are in. He telling you today, you are in dark. Get out of your car. That the that that day should overtake you as a thief. So it won't what? Overtake you as a thief. See, he wanted you. Telling you, don't let this day come up you on you and overtake you. Amen. Overtake that you start doing something that is out of his will. Amen. That you begin to withdraw yourself from the one that, that created you. Yes. That you say, oh, I just need a little peace. Jesus. I need a little calm. See, the enemies are ready to go on there. Go over to Lena's house. She got a cup of candy. You know you do some drink. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody won't know you drunk in it, but Lena ain't gonna tell it. <laughs> Come on, man. Amen, amen. We know we fall in the mother gods. That's right, amen. Did they ever tell you, baby? Just take it one, two, sip. Uh -huh. One more hurt you. All you did was stir that back up where God done took from you. Amen. Amen. One lead to a next. Another lead to a next. Mm -hmm. So you better write, oh my God, I done got the. Then <laughs> 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 when I get to do it, then I can't stay in the house, then I'm going to her house. <laughs> Everybody know I done got me, got back on the wheel. You know? <laughs> Come on now, I've been tricked. Yes. Oh. <laughs> then I'm gonna say, I come back. Hey, sister, you don't want to know you try to do like this. Pray to God, hey, 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 I ain't talking Jesus no more. I'm saying, this is this, this, this. I don't know that this, this, this. That ain't no tongue, is it? What you say? This, this, this. Now, come on, y'all. I want y'all to say that God is falling off. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Now, look what you're going to tell us. What we are. Ye are all the children of light. We are all children of the light. light. And the children of the day. And you the children of the day. We are not of the night. <laughs> well, you ain't. 
We are not of the night. You ain't of the night. That what is you doing? <laughs> you ain't of the night. You that came out of the night. Yes. You the light. Thank you. Yes. Woo, my God. Think about when we was coming up. I, we call them lightning bugs. I don't know what y'all call them. I mean, do y'all call them lightning bugs? Yeah, yeah. And just go get dogs a little bit. The lightning bugs. Come out. And they be flying, they'll light up. And you be running trying to catch the lightning bugs. We used to catch them and put them in jaws and watch them light up. And so they was a light. All right? And I'm trying to change my life. All right? You that lightning bug. I'm watching you. I ain't come told you I'm watching. But I'm watching. And all of a sudden, I... I'm ready to catch you. That means I'm ready to attach myself to you because I don't find that you are who you say you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, I put my jaw out there. Yeah. You said, damn, Sarah. Get out of my face. <laughs> 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 the light doing what I Come. He said, let your light be made by what? See, yeah. see, people looking at you, you come back and don't get mad because I cut you out. You said, it's like, right? Yeah. Her right. yeah. yeah. light yeah. with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I like the birds that go dim. Long they stay in the jaw, they go. Yeah. 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 Nor of darkness. Uh huh. No darkness. So I don't have nothing to do with the night and darkness. Not the later get, the darker it get. The more you stay in something, the darker you get. Yeah. It's all about the light. You you look so pretty. Mm -hmm. And you find out you mess around and went back. You get dark. Yeah. Yeah. Start getting dark right here. That's right. Then after a while, go and get dark right here. Mm -hmm. Then after a while, the whole face black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, you, you go, then you go around, you tell, praise the Lord, son, now how you doing? Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Lord is good. And I'm still what kind of makeup you got on the <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you get is that night and darkness? Mm -hmm. So when you get real dark, you back out there at the club, drinking. Al Green, Miss Google. Thank you. Thank you. Then you get in the club and, and then you don't know how to dance. <laughs> that man said, come on, get up in there and we that's true, that amen. Get it out, you guys. Don't go out there, you are. Hey, are you doing That's true, that amen. Don't even know how to dance. You do a whole dance. And you do the whole dance. You don't know about no hell. I don't know about no holy dance. That ain't what we do. Come on, y'all. The darker you get. Stop getting so in your calm mind. Hallelujah. Okay, go to First Timothy. Now sit. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Give me a seat. I don't got hyped up, y'all. <laughs> Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Darling, sleep like others. Stop looking over at somebody else and pass. Amen. All right. There's a lot of passes, eh? All right. I'll leave that alone. Amen. <laughs> okay, come on. But let <coughs> us watch and be sober. What? Be sober. Be sober minded. Be sober minded. Be sober minded. You know if you the 
son took on Christ Jesus, you got to stay sober-minded. That's where the transformation comes and tra transforms your mind daily. Because the old man is dead once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But you can't serve Jesus and the devil too. Amen. You know you ain't going to share your man with no other woman. Amen. You think Jesus going to share you with somebody else? Uh-uh. He feel that way and you feel that way. Okay, come on. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. So you drunk. Drunk, mind. Can't tell you jack. I'm saying. <laughs> All right, come on. But let us, but let us, who are of the day, be sober. He said, let us be, be what? Sober. Get sober. Stop being drunk. Means stay sober minded. Uh huh. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love. So I need to put on the whole armor of Jesus Christ and my Lord and Savior. I'm putting all of him on me. And what? And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. So I'm not putting it all. I'm putting it all on. I'm not gonna put half of him on. I'm gonna put him all on. When you marry a man, you don't marry him. You take all of him. You take his whole name. When you took Jesus on, you took him. And when he took you on, he took all of you. Because if he did, he went and died on the cross, what? For you. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you, Jesus. First Timothy 1, 12 through 18. This is Paul's testimony. Paul been talking about himself. Thank you, Jesus. See, yeah, Paul, I like the way Paul testified. Amen. He did a lot of things out of tradition and evil. But praise God, when he got his head straight, he Amen. stayed straight. Amen. Amen. Going in verse 12 through 18, I'm going to let you read. Just hear Paul testify. And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who have enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. He put, who put him there? Jesus. Jesus put Paul in the ministry. Amen. All right, look what Jesus did. I thank God how you put you somewhere. Who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy. Because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. Okay, Paul said, I did it ignorant because of what? Unbelief. unbelief. See, you got to think, well, who, who do you believe? A lot of things we do, we do out of ignorance. And out of unbelief. See, Paul telling you a lot of things that we do. And it's because we stay what? Colonel mind. When you cut them out, you do stupid stuff. Yes, Amen. Amen. All right, the way he said and the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. Where it come from? The only way you're going to come out of these things is through Christ Jesus. Amen. It's what Paul's saying. Come on. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Look at Paul said, I'm the chief of sinners. <laughs> he said, I, I'm the worst of all of them. He said, I'm the chief of But Jesus came in here to save. So you ain't done no more than Paul did. Paul said, I'm the chief of it. Oh, my God. Look at his testimony. Look what he said. How be it, for this cause I obtain mercy, that in me first... Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. So Paul was saying, now I was a chief of a, the worst of them. Now Jesus had come into my life. So I'm a pattern. I'm a pattern. I'm a pattern for Jesus. To show 
the thing that Jesus went through, I can go through it too. Amen. What's wrong with me? I'm drunk. I don't want to go through. Amen. When you in a curl of mine, you ain't going to go through. That's right. Amen. Amen. You think somebody making a fool out of you. No, you ain't. They the fool. You ain't. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I like Paul. I like Paul telling us. I thank God what Paul went through. Amen. Okay. Now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, the honor and glory Forever and ever. Amen. And Paul sealed it with an amen. amen. Hallelujah. Get 18. He sealed it with an amen. Look what he said. This, now he's charging you. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecy which went before on thee, that thou be them by that thou buy them minus war a good warfare. So he telling them now if I went through this, I'm giving you a testimony. War, you you gonna war these things you gonna walk through. Amen. Then he tell them these things gonna be. Amen. You gonna walk this thing, but go on what? Through it. Through. Hallelujah. Thank God for going through. My Amen. God, Amen. thank you for going through. Amen. Just flip over to Second Timothy two one and three. God, I thank you. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm going to make it sink. Yes, Lord. Get you out of your Thank you. Yes, Lord. So we can win these battles. Second okay. Timothy 2, 1 through 3. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Where your strength come from? Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. It's in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's where your strength up. It's not in you. It's in Christ Jesus. All right, come on. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So Paul said, what you heard about me, my ignorant, my drunken, the things I did, hallelujah, they was true. But I'm teaching you what I went through that you can teach up. Amen. 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 Paul is telling us what I went through. It wasn't no easy task. Right. But I went through. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, you gonna have walls, you're gonna rest, and you're gonna do anything. You gonna do these things. Amen. But in the, this, I know if you still do it through Jesus, Amen. you can help. Somebody else. It ain't all about you being saved. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. See, people got to realize you ain't being saved just for you. You being saved for others so you can draw right. others in. Amen. Right. Amen. You can either draw them in or you will drive them, drive them out. Amen. And we want them in. Amen. Because he soon to crack the sky. Amen. Hallelujah. He can't impart his people Amen. into a place. He showed me years ago. He said, the reason why he hadn't brought his people in yet, he said, because the people inside is sick. All right. He Amen. said, I can't bring the sick in until I get these in his way. Because if he's bringing in the body that he want to bring in, and you ain't well, mm -hmm. and you drunk, you're going you to do something to hurt him. See, that's something about the body. The shepherd can be one way, uh -huh. and the sheep can be another. See, the shepherd can't watch everything. Amen. If I'm a friendly, smiley person, 